What's the first video game you played? It was a Star Wars video game. It's pretty sweet. I can't remember what it was called, though. It was uh, Tetris with my mom when I was real, really young on uh, the Nintendo, I remember. That's the very first game I ever played, and I was with her. I don't play video games, to be honest with you. I think it's, they're really boring. What kind of video games do you play? I have a Wii, so I like the uh, Nintendo games. God of War, but I only played that one because it looked really cool on TV. NHL 2008. Um, last video game I played was Street Fighter, the old school one. I guess the last video game I played was uh, Major League Baseball 2008. Grand Theft Auto is actually my favorite video game. I'm all for the killing. <laughs> so were you really excited that Grand Theft Auto 4 came out? Are you excited to play it sometime? Definitely. Well, I know I did read a big thing on it that they had. There's a part in the game where you can actually drive drunk in that, and I know that's not. Uh, I don't think that's a very uh, appropriate thing to have in a video game because I mean, dr drunk driving isn't anything to mess around with, and it does take people's lives. So, I thought that went a little too far. Well, the representation of stealing cars and beating up people, that's not a positive kind of image that you want to give kids. You don't want the kids who play these games to think this is the natural and intelligent and useful and moral way to live in a city. To go around stealing cars, beating up people. I think if a parent raises their child properly, their kid's not going to think going out and stealing cars is okay. It just comes down to that. It might become a scapegoat for certain problems, but I don't think it'll actually have any effect on what people do. I think that people should start thinking for themselves and get out of this gang mentality, and uh, that these video games are don't really mean anything. It's just like people should use it more as as a way to get out of that mentality and not actually do do those things, as opposed to actually going out and hurting people and and stealing cars and stuff. I think video games have the ability to consume your life if you let it, but I think it just adds to something that you know, something that keeps you entertained, and it's something to talk about too. Like a lot of people play video games, and a lot of the times they'll come up in conversation, and it just adds to the conversation. I think they're fun. I think it's more social because like me and my roommate will sit around, we'll have a few drinks and play and trash talk each other, but that's about it. Well, they're like an anti-flirting device, a totally like throws you off. Your oh, they're, they're a flirt killer. I don't really invest a lot of time into it, but I know uh, my younger brother plays a lot of video games, so and he's more in the dungeon where he just plays all day, so I think to him it depends who it is, but I think it depends who you are. It can be positive or it can be negative. Our perspectives are so off in society, right? And we're spending like three million on video games. And video games are usually used as a distraction, like an escape thing. And it's sort of like... I don't know, silence the masses, kind of sedate the masses, ooh, but I don't know. So you think video games are, are uh, a pacifier for the masses then? Yeah, mostly. Get your head out of the game and don't let it influence you to do stupid things. I find that in real life, life is just the ultimate search for what we don't know what we're looking for. And we just spend all of our lives looking for that end. And when we find the end, it just ends. And that's what the game is like. I'd like to say that video games have had a positive impact, impact on my life. They've helped me think of crimes, develop crimes, learn about crimes, learn about body disposal, as well as vacating my bowels publicly. <laughs>